What if there was a way that you could make the music you love have an automatic income from that music and make money while you sleep? And what if you could do this from the comfort of your own home in your spare time, as much or as little as you like? And what if I gave you all the places that you need to go to put your music in, what it looks like behind the scenes of each of these libraries, and how much money it's made me through these past three years? Well, the beauty of this video is that you don't have to wonder, what if? Just hear me out for the next few minutes. Now, there are some people who will tell you that what I am talking about is nonsense. This stock music, this small time music licensing just isn't worth your trouble. Now, those people who are saying this probably have tried this just a little bit and didn't make much money, or they haven't tried it at all. Or maybe they were in it for a long while, but they decided to move on to sync licensing where they could make lots more money off TV and film uh, eventually. To be honest, they probably will quit that too when they don't see quick returns. These naysayers might even say that creating stock music and putting your music in these little sites is just a penny game. And creating music for it is kind of pointless. But I get money every 15th of the month that helps me pay bills and I fall on the lower side of earnings. They'll also say this is completely unsustainable and that it's completely oversaturated, so why even try? To all these negative Nancys, I say poppycock. Excuse my language. So in this short video, I just wanna give you a few thoughts that I have on why I feel like stock music licensing and micro licensing is something that you should look into. I needed a place to put all the stuff that I knew wasn't going to exclusive libraries. And to be honest, I have, and we should all have a lot of music that is not exclusive, meaning we're not gonna put it into things that are going to be exclusive contracts, but we're going to have it available so that we could put it up to our PRO, so that we could put it up to content ID, so that we could put it in these stock music libraries that I'm about to tell you about. We could also do sheet music. We could also put these up to beat sites. We could also sell these for games. There is so much that we could do with non-exclusive music. So who am I? My name is Eric Copeland, and I have been actively writing songs since I was 13, probably like you. At some point, my songwriting career got hijacked into a production career and a music label service that took me to Nashville and introduced me to the top players and engineers and studios there. And it was just a great time, but my composition time suffered. About six or seven years ago, I started to hear about licensing and the world of getting your music into TV and film and games and advertising. And I said, that is what I need to get back to. I need to get back to composing. I need to get back to putting my music out there. And I need a vehicle to do that and not just making albums and putting them up on Spotify because that whole thing had changed from putting out CDs that was now over. And I knew I wanted to create positive music for these uses. Now, today I still work for clients and in 2020, I got my first deal with a BMG library and my songs started getting into TV shows around the world. But with those songs, I was signing exclusive contracts, meaning I couldn't do anything else with those songs. But along the way, I heard about something online called stock music licensing, which is signing your music with non-exclusive libraries and websites that cater to YouTubers and people looking for music for business use, church use, other kinds of uses. And with libraries like Pond5, Motion Array, Audio Jungle, and sites like Song Trader and Identify, and it's turned into a nice side hustle over the past three years that's made me about $10,000 just because I wanted to make this music and I put it out there. It was also music that I knew I wasn't going to put in exclusive libraries and I knew probably wasn't right for television and film, but it was music that I had. And so I just put it all up onto these libraries and these sites. And I really don't spend that much time on it now over these past two years. And it's still providing a nice couple hundred to $300 a month in income for me. Because here's the problem. You might identify with this. I make a lot of music and I've got to put it somewhere. And if it's not for exclusive libraries or clients, it's going to be non-exclusive music and I want to put it everywhere. So sounds good, right? A way to make money for just songs that I make and have fun with and I'm putting up the streaming or I'm making for some other thing, but they're totally non-exclusive and I can put them everywhere. Now, as I began to make stock music and put stuff on these different 
other sites and make money. Other people started asking me how I did it because I started to come on YouTube and talk about it. And so I ended up making a little ebook. It wasn't very little, but I started it as a little ebook. And then it became this long list of different sites that I was on with the links, with some of my thoughts about it. And it became a very popular ebook. And when I decided I wanted to start creating courses, I just decided to make this my first course and just see how it would work and see if people would like it. Well, now that course is complete. Introducing the fully uploaded course, The Stock Market, where, why, and how to make music income with stock music libraries and micro licensing sites. I invite you to check out this course at the link below or just go to makemusicincome.com slash stock market. You can read for yourself what other people are saying and find several unique ways to take the course, including packages that include consulting or coaching with me. And do you know you can actually take the introduction for free? And I'll leave a link for you below to show you what the course looks like with a, a recent video I did called musicsupervisor.com and it's one of the modules and you can see how the modules work. Just go to the link right here, just this link right here, makemusicincome.com slash stock market. And I hope you like what you see. And as always, thanks for watching.